Legged robots have been successfully deployed in a variety of challenging environments. However, leveraging their high degrees of freedom to navigate confined spaces remains an ongoing challenge. We tackle this problem with a two-layer hierarchical framework. First, we train a low-level locomotion policy, which follows 6D commands using reinforcement learning. In addition to tracking X, Y, and yaw velocities, the policy is trained to follow roll, pitch, and body height commands. We first validate the deployability of this low-level policy on the robot. The policy successfully tracks orientation and body height commands given by the operator. The policy demonstrated that it can traverse stairs while crouching down. In addition, the policy demonstrated robustness in a challenging environment consisting of unstable and loose obstacles. It was able to navigate through these obstacles while adopting a crouched posture to traverse under low ceilings. Next, we train a high-level policy to generate six DUF commands that guide the low-level policy in navigating confined spaces. To simulate diverse environments, we procedurally generate terrains by tiling the meshes. Then, we introduce random overhanging obstacles to the generated terrains, creating complex confined spaces. Utilizing this complex terrain, we train a teacher policy that receives a spherical scan and follows to the commanded velocity. The policy learned to adopt a crouched posture under overhanging obstacles while navigating rough terrains. Then we distill the teacher policy into a student policy that operates on noisy voxel-based observations. It aims to mimic the teacher policy's action while receiving noisy perception. Finally, we tested our combined high-level and low-level policies in a real-world setting. The operator gave commands for the robot's X, Y, and yaw velocities, while the robot autonomously adjusted its body height, roll, and pitch. Using an occupancy voxel representation, the robot perceives the threed environment and adopts a crouched posture to navigate under overhanging obstacles. Through these experiments, we validated our combined high-level and low-level policy approach for navigating confined spaces. This demonstrates the practical utility of our framework in challenging environments.